Now, I'd just like to welcome Patrick Teggart, who's going to do our last two speed talks for the session. Um, Patrick is a citizen science scientist at the Office for Environment and Heritage in New South Wales and has supported the running of the projects over the last year and has previously been involved in coordinating bio blitzes in New South Wales. Um, he is lucky enough to have two presentations. Yeah, very I'll lucky. let you decide which order yeah. they should go in, but I will give you the timing wind up for the end of one. Yep, so it's six minutes. It's Let's start with photo points. So photo points are a well accepted approach within the ecological community to gather data uh, from landscapes and vegetation condition over a period of time. During this presentation, I will be keep discussing the work OEH is doing with the University of Adelaide to develop new photo point protocols to support OEH monitoring programs and citizen scientists within New South Wales. A bit of a background about what photo points are. Photo points uh, can be set up ad hoc to collect images over time or be more structured to collect in, uh, images over regular intervals. Uh, there are presently a handful of vegetation photo point protocols available. Some are on a fixed uh, sign, like the Warren Bundle Snap, which you can see on the left hand or just above me. Others have photo points set up at either end of a, a transect where the images are taken each, and this is generally through a vegetation assessment, is what OEH is presently using. And what we were interested in is the turn Ozplot's panoramic photo point protocol, which is a bit of a tongue twister, see how it go throughout the presentation. And that, when set up, has three photo points in a triangle uh, formation around a centre dropper, and when the images are stitched together, starts opening the opportunity for quantitative information to be extracted. So a bit of context behind the project, OEH has an invested interest in citizen science. We are currently supporting and coordinating numerous citizen science projects across the state. But we also have a big responsibility in setting up monitoring, robust monitoring programs, uh, most recently supporting the private land conservation program with developing a monitoring program for them. Like previous programs, this program will also have accreditors and landholders taking photo point images. This provides a good opportunity, but we are presently only looking at qualitative information from the images. This led to a conversation with the University of Adelaide and their TURN facility. For those who don't know who TURN are, what they are, they're a national ecological research infrastructure, and the surveillance monitoring element of it is based at the University of Adelaide, and they're responsible for devel developing the Panorama Photo Point Protocol. This conversation led to an opportunity for us to refine and update our photo point protocols uh, within New South Wales to support our monitoring programs and citizen scientists. On a citizen science uh, level, photo points are probably one of the easiest ways for anybody to capture data about their land, uh, but the space is also pointing towards citizen scientists playing a major role in image recognition and image classification in the future. A little bit more of why we're revisiting them is the fact that site and plot data collection and uh, routinely gathering information about management actions is the foundation of ecological monitoring. Uh, this isn't always possible through a vegetation assessment though because they can be expensive, uh, time consuming and will often require a professional to undertake them. New South Wales, like most states, has knowledge gaps and data needs and photo points provide that opportunity for land managers and also citizen scientists to routinely gather data. And as those images build up over time, the land managers can ground truth vegetation assessments and also the management actions. One of the key problems with the photo points at the moment is they routinely collect, store and analyse those images. And within OEH, we're currently lacking a system to uniformly uh, collect the images and store them, which provides a great integration point with our data repository, which is Bionet, with turn for long-term ecological image management. So what are we actually doing? So we're developing two photo point protocols. The first is focused on SLR cameras, and that will be refining and updating the work that Turn Ozplot has done for their photo point panorama protocol. The second is developing them for smartphones. And the reason why we've got two protocols is, one, there's different specs between phones and cameras, but it's also starting to future-proof for the space from what we see traditionally used cameras moving into what smartphones would probably be the tool of choice. We're also developing a couple of apps to support the work on the ground. Uh, the first app will allow 
uh, survey metadata, such as site location, date, time of the image capture, but also site attributes as well. So that includes vegetation condition, uh, disturbance like erosion in the site, and also uh, habitat availability that's captured in the image like logs present. The second app we're developing, which we're still working on a name, happy to have some uh, thrown up at me. It's currently the up-down app, but it allows the user to collect ground cover and canopy cover uh, images. These collected photo point images will be then uploaded into a cloud-first image repository, which is integrated with Turn's National Ecological Data Management Infrastructure. And we're building all of this and putting the protocols in place to start future-proofing for the extraction of quantitative information over qualitative information. So the future scope of the space is that we are building for the quantitative information extraction, but we're also building in place to allow one citizen scientist to be able to capture photo points, but also start putting in place uh, image classification, and that's something we want to move towards for training our machine learning and image recognition in the future. And this will also, so an example of that is vegetation condition like basal area and measurements. So in closing, photo points are a useful, uh, accessible and low cost monitoring tool which can complement vegetation assessments or be a standalone. The photo point protocols of the project overall is aiming to future proof the collection of images so they can be accessible, retrievable for future use and real time and also support current and future OEH monitoring programs. And as this is just an overview, uh, feel free to contact or talk to me during the conference or afterwards, because uh, I'll be happy to discuss it in greater detail. Thank you. And if you're interested in any of the work Turn's doing, it's just up there as well. <laughs>